In this video, we're going to go over how we calibrate this pH meter, this handheld pH meter. So, let's take a look at some of the things we're going to need to do this. First, we will have a pH 4 solution and a pH 7 solution that I have already poured into two 50 ml beakers, approximately 20 mLs of each, into each beaker, and I've labeled that. We have Kim wipes, a plastic disposable pipette, a 100 ml beaker, and a larger beaker. You may not need this if you have a sink nearby, but I need this. I don't have a sink. And DI water. So let's get started. First, we're going to remove the cap from the pH meter. All right. And we're going to set that cap inside of our 100 ml beaker so we don't lose that or spill the solution that's inside. We're going to turn on the pH meter by holding the on button for a, a full second. Now once that's on, to get to the calibration mode, you're going to have to push the on button one more time, but this time you're going to hold on to that button until you see the word CAL. So once you see that, you're going to see 7.01 and the word buff below it or the word REC. So when you see that, that's going to tell you to put it into the pH 7 solution. So we're going to do that here. So we have it in the pH 7 solution. So this is calibrating to the pH 7 solution. This may take uh, 30 to 45 seconds. Okay, so after it's done calibrating using this pH 7 solution, it's going to tell you uh, to change it to the 4 solution, the pH 4 solution. So it's telling me I'm wrong right now because it's saying to put it in the 4, but it's still in the 7. So we're going to take it out of the 7 solution. We're going to rinse our electrode with the DI water and all around it. So once we've got that nice and rinsed off, we can dry it with our Kim wipe and gently tap the small bulb that's here. That's the actual electrode. Get that nice and dry. All right, so it's waiting for the pH 4 solution now. So we're going to go ahead and put it in the pH 4. So once we put it in the pH 4, it will detect that it's in the pH 4 solution and it's going to start calibrating. So the, again, this may take 30 to 45 seconds. All right, it says OK. Now it's ready to use. We take it out of the pH 4 solution. We're going to rinse it off. And at this point, after you've dried it, you can use it. Or in my case, I'm going to store it again, so I'm going to put the cap back on. Before they put the cap back on, I'm going to make sure there's pH solution inside that little cylinder inside the cap. And I need a little bit, so I'm going to take some pH 7 solution from my pH 7 beaker. I'm going to pipette it out and pipette it into the cylinder. And then I'm going to put it back on to the pH meter. Now, the way that you know, again, that you're putting it uh, on the correct way is you'll see the numbers on the same side. So here I have the numbers on the same side. So I snap it on there. And I'm not going to be using this, so I'm going to go ahead and turn this off by holding down the power button one more time. And now it's turned off. 
So, now you know how to calibrate this new handheld pH meter by Hanna Instruments.